AI is here. Like we have, we see it in healthcare, we see it in agriculture, we see it in defense. We see, I mean, it's just, it's permeating everywhere. And I just think that it's only growing. And then I think one way of tracking it is gonna be with generative AI, like the amount of energy that's needed to um, support that compute. You can, you know the regions in which it's currently being held because that's how much energy it takes to sustain it. Um, that might be a way of tracking, but otherwise I think it's just the gr ever growing presence that people are gonna see, whether it's the transcribing of a voice text to um, you know, healthcare screenings for cancer. Seems to be a little bit of negativity now around AI, which is understandable. It's better to be safe than sorry, but there's a lot of good yeah. that comes out of AI. Like, like taking the example of my company, it's good not just for the business return of the enterprise, but you know we are in, we are reducing waste. Mm -hmm. You know we make a lot of goods using raw material and hardware, and so we use a lot of stuff by optimizing uh, our processes. We'll reduce waste. You know, in Southeast Asia, we're sort of in a rat race to get to how many data centers each country in Southeast Asia can build without taking into account, I guess, what in traditional conventional economic thinking is externalities, right? So uh, what environmental costs are there? Which indigenous populations are being displaced? What other communities are being left out of building these data sets? Um, and the onus is really on countries in the global majority to think more creatively about how to advance tech. So not anybody can code yet, uh, but uh, somebody with you know seventh grade computer science can now code as well, arguably, as somebody who used to require a university degree. Uh, that's pretty amazing um, related to your point, and, and it's going to empower lots of people to do things they couldn't otherwise do. That's equalizing. Uh, but it doesn't mean there aren't losers, and we do need to worry about the losers.